All right, what's up, guys? Today we're going to be opening up over 1,000 legacy packs courtesy of PB. Go subscribe to his channel if you haven't checked it out yet. Uh, but we will be opening 1,000 to see if we get anything useful whatsoever. I uh, kind of test how good these packs are, how bad they are, whether they are worth uh, earning or getting in general, and whether they're even a good prize support. But let's open 1,000 packs and let's enjoy this. Thank you. 
right, so these are the highlights. Uh, these are all of the cards that I got here. Uh, these are all the, I'm going to show you the super rares and the ultra rare highlights. I'm not going to show you everything else. Uh, a couple of good ones. It's, it's really kind of, it's sad because this is basically three months worth of packs. And a lot of the cards are really, really useless. Like legacy packs are even a little bit rough. And if you put them into like their own format, because in a lot of ways they don't even work as like you can only do it with legacy packs sort of situation. But I got some highlights here. I got Goblinburg is a decent card. Uh, we've got Threatening Roar, I guess, I guess Threatening Roar for the right deck can be good. Um, we've got a generic Link 3 in Gaia, Saber, which is pretty decent. We've also got Heat Wave, which is okay. Uh, Silver's Cry, Heat Wave is pretty good if you're playing like a slower deck. Uh, this is one of the better ones that we pulled Summon Limit. Uh, but again, it's like, you know, you could have just crafted it. Like Again, this is over a thousand packs to get just a few Floodgates is really not that great. Kaiser Coliseum. Uh, slash draw, I guess you could do that slash draw FTK, but it's not that great. Trishul is one of the better cards, uh, decent in a dragon deck. Uh, if you're using it, Archfiend cards don't really matter. We've got another UR here with Final Countdown. Uh, this card obviously is better in a format with Mystic Mind. This, there's no Mystic Mind, so this card's kind of just not that great. Uh, we've also got Exchange. This can take hand traps out of your opponent's hand, so I guess it's somewhat decent. But again, the majority of these cards are really bad. And then there's some cards that are just like, like why is this a super rare? Uh, this card has never been good. It's never been useful. I don't know why this is a super rare. Uh, but again, th these are the leg Legacy Packs, 1,000 of them. We've got Smoke Grenade of the Thief. That's a decent card in the right deck. Um, we've got, uh, this is a decent card in the right deck, Crooked Cook. If you play it in the fish deck, it can't be destroyed by battle. Uh, we've got one of our really, really shiny cards, but again, it's not that great because it's Spatial Collapse. And then again, we just continue here, Magical Hats. Uh, that was another UR. We've got Magical Ref Panel. This card is extremely specific. We actually pulled a barrier statue, the best barrier statue ever, which is the Wind Barrier Statue. Uh, we've got a Link Spider, which is, again, a pretty good card. Normally, you'd have to craft it, but we sort of just got it here. Uh, but again, it's just a lot of the UR suck. A lot of the SRs are just like, why are these cards SRs? Uh, overall, I think the majority of these cards could have really been a lot better considering uh, this is probably the most common form of prize support in this game outside of gems we've also got morphing jar uh, this card blaze phoenix is just it's not that good and it's limited to one so that just uh, it enables an ftk uh, these are two decent cards we've got dark room of nightmare and then we've got junk synchron junk synchron is a card that you would typically need to craft if you're playing uh this deck but we've already got plenty of these anyway they're not, it's not a particularly difficult card to get gatling dragon if they ever support an older format i guess it could be cool but right now, Gatling Dragon is not that great. We've got Tiger King Wang, who, again, if they support an older format, could be cool. Uh, but like I said, the majority of these cards are just kind of like terrible. Level 6 generic XYZ. Uh, we've got Dark End Dragon. We're going to keep going here. Monarchs. Uh, this is just Monster Reborn, but like a thousand times worse. And that is, I think, pretty much it. This, this Infinite Track has nothing to do with this. Uh, but yeah, that is the last card, which is the Berserker Soul. That is every SR and UR that we pulled. This is actually not a bad card either, Mind Crush. But again, you just got to know what your opponent's playing in order to do it. Uh, but overall, it's been uh, pretty pretty uneventful. Considering the fact that there's 1,000 packs, it's pretty uneventful. Uh, what do you think about the Legacy Packs? Do you think they should be improved? Do you think they should put more cards in the prize support? Do you think they should allow these cards to be dismantled what are your thoughts on this uh thank you for watching and have a great day